Kings 2, Part 1. Elijah announces Isaiah. After the death of Ahab, Moab rebelled against Israel. Now Isaiah fell through the lattice in his upper chamber in Samaria and lay sick. So he sent messengers telling them, Go inquire of Baal Zebub, the god of Ekron, whether I shall recover from this sickness. But the angel of the Lord said to Elijah, Arise, go up to meet the messengers of the king of Samaria, and say to them, Is it because there is no god in Israel that you are going to inquire of Baal Zebub, the god of Ekron? Now, therefore, thus says the Lord, You shall not, not come down from the bed to which you have gone up, but you shall surely die. Then the king sent to him a captain of fifty men with his fifty, but Elijah answered the captain of fifty, If I am a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume you and your fifty. Again the king sent to him another captain of fifty. Again the king sent the captain of a third fifty with his fifty. And the third captain fell on his knees. Then the angel of the Lord said to Elijah, Go down to him and went down to him with the king went with him to the king so he died according to the word of the lord of elijah has spoken jehoram became king in his place in the second year of jehoram the son of josaphat king of judah because Isaiah had no son elijah taken to heaven and the sons of the prophets who were in bethel came out to elish to elish and said to him do you know that today the Lord will take away your master from over you? And he said, Yes, I know. Be keep quiet. Is it Elisha? I said Elish. I don't know. I forgot the A at the end there. The sons of the prophets who were at Jericho drew near to Elijah, Elijah, not Elish, Elijah, and said to him, do you know that today the Lord will take away your master from over you? And he answered, Yes, I know it. Keep quiet. Then Elijah took his cloak and rolled it up and struck the water, and the water parted, was parted. When, when they had crossed, Elijah said to Eli, Elijah, Elijah, Ask what I shall do for you before I am taken from you. And Elijah said, Please let there be double portion of your spirit on me. And he said, You have asked a hard thing, yet if you see me as I am being taken from you, it shall be so for you. Behold, chariots of fire and horses and fire separated the two of them. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And Elijah, Elijah saw it and cried, My father, my father. Then he took the cloak of Elijah, struck the water. The water was parted to the one side and to the other and Elijah went over. Elijah succeeds Eli Eli Elijah succeeds Elijah. The spirit of Elijah, that's why, oh my golly. El Elijah succeeds Elijah. Elijah. The spirit of Elijah rests on Elijah. Now the man of the city said to Elijah, Behold, the situation of the city is pleasant, as my Lord sees, but the water is bad and the land is unfruitful. He said, Bring me a new bowl and put salt in it. So they brought it to him. Then he threw salt in it. I have healed this water. From now on, neither death nor miscarriage shall come from it. Moab rebels against Israel. In the 18th year of Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, Jehoram, the son of Ahab, became king over Israel and Samaria, and he reigned 12 years. He did what was evil in the sight of the Lord. Now Mesha, king of Moab, was a sheep breeder, and he had to deliver to the king of Israel 100,000 lambs and the wool of 100,000 rams. But when Ahab died, the king of Moab rebelled. So the king of Israel went with the king of Judah and the king of Edom. And Jehoshaphat said, The word of the Lord is with him. And Elijah said, As the Lord of hosts lives before whom I stand, were it not that I have regard for Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, I would neither look at you nor see you. 
bring now, but now bring me a magician. And when the magician played, the hand of the Lord came upon him, and he said, Thus says the Lord, I make this dry stream bed full of pools. The next morning water came from the direction of Adon, and they said, This is blood. The kings have sh surely fought together and struck one another down. Then Moab, now then Moab to the spoil. But when they came to the camp of Israel, the Israelites rose and struck the Moabites till they fled before them. When the king of Moab saw that the battle was going against him, he took with him 700 swordsmen to break through opposite the king of Adam, but they could not. Then he took his oldest son who was to reign in his place and offered him for a burnt offering on the wall. And there came a great wrath against Israel, and they withdrew from him and returned to their own land. Elijah and the widow's oil. Now the wife of one of the prophets cried to Elijah, My husband is dead. The creditor has come to take my two children to be his slaves. Then he said, Go outside, borrow vessels from all your neighbors, empty vessels and not too few. When the vessels were full, she said to her son, Bring me another vessel. And he said to her, There is not another. Then the oil stopped flowing. She came and told the man of God, and he said, Go sell the oil, pay your debts, and you and your sons can live off the rest. <coughs> Elijah and the Shumite woman. One day Elijah went on to Shimon, where there was a wealthy woman, <coughs> where there was a wealthy woman lived who urged him to eat some food so whenever he passed that way he would turn in there to eat food and she said to her husband let us make a small room so that whenever he comes to us he can go in there and she said when what then is to be done for her and he said at this season about this time next year you shall embrace his son and she bore a son about that time the following spring and Elijah as Elijah had said to her Elijah raises the Shemite's son and when he had lifted him and brought him to his mother the child sat on her lap till noon and then he died that was the father that brought him from the farm then she saddled the donkey came to the man of God at Mount Carmel so he arose and followed her. When Elijah came into the house, he saw the child lying dead on his bed. Then he went up and lay on the child as he had stretched himself upon him. The flesh of the child became warm. Then he got up again and walked once back and forth in the house and went up and stretched himself upon the child, sneezed seven times and the child opened his eyes. Elijah purifies the deadly stew. And Elijah came again to Gilgal when there was a famine in the land. Set on the large set on the large pot and boiled stew for the sons of the prophets. One of them went out into the field to gather herbs and found a wild vine and gathered from it and cut them up into the pot of stew. O man of God, there is death in the pot, he said. Then bring flour, and there was no harm in the pot. A man came from Baal Shalisha bringing 20 loaves of barley and fresh ears and grain in his sack. And Elijah said, Give to the men that they may eat. But his servant said, How can I? How can I set this before a hundred men? So he repeated, Give them to the men. Thus says the Lord. And they ate and had some left according to, wor to the word of the Lord. The man healed of leprosy. The man commander of the army of the king of Syria was a great man with his master and in high favor. Because by him the Lord had given victory to Syria, but he was a leper. Now the Syrians on one of their raids had carried off a little girl from the land of Israel. She said, would that my Lord were with the prophet who is in Samaria, he would cure him of his leprosy. The king of Syria said, Go now, and I will send a letter to the king of Israel. When this letter reaches you, know that I have sent you to Naman, my servant. 
that you may cure him of his leprosy. The king tore his clothes. Am I a god that this man sends word to me to cure a man? Why have you torn? Why have you torn your clothes? Let him come to me now. Let him now come to me. And Elijah sent a messenger to him, saying, Go and wash in the Jordan seven times. But the man was angry and went away, saying, Behold, I thought that he would surely come out to me and stand and call upon the name of the Lord his God. But his servants came near and said to him, It's a great word that the... That word the prophet has spoken to you, will you not do it? So he went, and his flesh was restored.